Last week, we shared the process of designing and putting together our custom Murphy bed for our bus. The design of the bed is working out great. And finished installing the planks for the walls in the bedroom. This week, we're putting in our first wall. There's one part of us, I think, that's feeling like, oh, why do we have to put walls up? When you're actually living in a space, having separation and being able to close <laughs> the bathroom door, <laughs> it's just so important stuff. And building the bones of our bedroom built-ins. Basically, I'm just making pounds and pounds of sawdust. This is what happens when you pull me back to the bus. <laughs> I can redo really everything. We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40 foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs>
I got a rough idea. Like, real rough. We got our mattress for the bed, very exciting news. Now we've been sleeping on the king size version of this tuft and needle mattress for about three years. Both Mella and I love it. We designed our bed and this bed area around the tuft and needle queen size mattress. Now because I'm building this Murphy bed so it rolls up into the wall and can lock into place, I need to get an exact measurement for where I want it to lock in place. And the only way to do that is by putting the mattress into place. But because this is kind of a construction zone, I keep it wrapped in plastic. This video isn't sponsored by Tuft & Needle, but we are part of the Tuft & Needle affiliate program. So if you want to try out a Tuft & Needle mattress with their 100 day return policy, we'll include our link in the description below. <sighs> comfy even with two layers of plastic on it. <laughs> I don't want to get up now. I'm not a woodworker. Just the guy making a bus. You also might notice today that I've got a new fashion accessory. It's my new back brace. Hope to help keep my spine aligned, prevent me from pulling anything. I've worn it for a couple days and it seems to really make a huge difference. I got one, basically the bones of it done. It needs some facade work and some doors. I'm waiting on some hinging and things like that to come. Now, the real test to see if it fits. So snug. Wish I was not here by myself to celebrate how good this one is. <laughs> After a couple redesigns and we got a decent start and Mel came out to help me get the rest of it put together. So Don's been busy building our bedside towers. Basically we needed something to attach the Murphy bed to when it goes up so we can lock it up in place securely. Things like books can fit in there and just like the bedside stuff you wanted like maybe a bottle of water or your phone or iPads. So the biggest change here really is this wall we've put up dividing the bedroom area from where the bathroom is going to be. It's a little bittersweet because it was so nice having like open space and that there's one part of us I think that's feeling like oh why do we have to put walls up but I know that when you're actually living in a space having separation and being able to close <laughs> the bathroom door <laughs> it's just the important stuff that you want so it's exciting as well as like oh what happened to our open floor plan? <laughs> Basically, I'm just making pounds and pounds of sawdust the past couple days. I pretty much left this design up to him to, to do. I didn't know the exact plan for these cabinets. As soon as we started to put things together, we noticed some... Imperfections? Yeah. 
<laughs> what happened, Don? Oh, the very first piece I cut, I cut a half inch too long, which is the big piece, which is what everything else is based on. So instead of having a clean front that hides everything, it's going to have a stripe here, which I didn't want. Can't we fix it so that it's the same as the other side? That means we have to take everything down and cut this. This is what happens when you pull me back to the bus. <laughs> I can mean, redo everything. Are you regretting pulling me in here now? The first side he did was attached to the wall, and this side is not attached to the wall, so the measurements actually had to be different, and the cutouts needed to be different, and that's where he ran into some problems. He, he's been working really hard non-stop, and I think this when you is get tired, you stop making mistakes. I also have tried something different with this. With our cabinet, my desk area, with the bed, I've done some much more detailed designs, actually in the computer, to the point that I always had cut lists. For this, I wanted to just try to figure it out as I went because it was such an odd design for me. The good news is, it's going to work. The bad news is... Oh, we wasted some wood and wood is not cheap right now. <laughs> so. Just got cleaning and ketchup to do. So now we're going to go get some cupcakes because <laughs> cupcakes make everything better. Yes. We finished up working yesterday and we had an hour of daylight still so we ran out, got some takeout food, came home and watched a movie. It felt like a vacation. It was so fun and relaxing just to have a couple hours to relax together. But I'm back here working on the bus. I'm gonna try to finish up these towers today. Now that the bus has furniture and a wall, we can't be making this much sawdust in here. So I've decided to go ahead and set up a table outside to do the rest of my cutting. As long as the weather permits, I'm gonna try to do that, even though it's, it means you gotta walk outside every time you need to make another cut. Or because just between you and me, we wanna be sleeping in here real soon. When they say to measure multiple times before you cut, I don't think this is what they meant. <laughs> Now that we get the uh, shelving in place and looking pretty decent, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple interior braces so we can have electrical outlets and light switches inside the bed towers. Building is that water goes low, electric goes high. I'm doing the same here. 
water area is going to be right below and over to the side of the electrical. So if water spills, it never goes into the electrical there. Now I'm just going to build some specialized cup holders for our water bottles since we tend to keep those by our bed. All right, we got our side tower put together. It's time for me to go ahead and measure and see how we're gonna to put together our overhead storage bin. And they look really good. They're really clean and simple and small yet strong. And they look great. Mr. Magoo. <laughs> no, I didn't know what it's to call it. <laughs> Why don't you call it Mr. Magoo? Got everything cut. Now we're gonna just do some pocket holes and put it together. Got it up in place and it fits. It's gonna look really good. Another false start. <laughs> so we just remembered that we wanted to put some lights underneath the cabinet so that when the bed is down and we're in bed we can have some sort of bedside lighting. Not so much to read, we tend to read off our iPads but just some mood lighting. I really can't believe how big these cabinets are. I thought they were going to be silly little cabinets that we couldn't fit much into, but they're really big. And just like that, the framework for our bed, overhead closets, our bed, and our side closet, head tower things. <laughs> Do we ever name those? Do we ever name those stupid things? Uh, our bedside tables, bed bedside towers. Bedside towers, right? Bedside towers. <laughs> it's all built. Yay! We do have two questions for you guys. I want to know what you think. We've been talking about the doors that we want to put on these cabinets and we want to put the frame of the door in that espresso color that we're using for all the trim work and then the actual door itself. I've been wanting to use cane webbing. Don, I don't know what Don wrote, Don, he's also into it. But there's something about wicker and cane webbing that just rubs me the wrong way but I'm, I'm not not willing it's very to let in right Mella now. use it. I don't care. 
And I like the fact that it'll be able to kind of breathe because we're gonna put bedding and towels and stuff like that in there, I think, and it would be nice so that there is some sort of airflow. I don't know if you remember, there was a video we did earlier this year where we interviewed some of our favorite van life, bus life, and schoolie life people to get advice. And uh, Ben from Combi Life had mentioned that we should think about ventilation everywhere. That's why I'm willing to say okay to Mella's cane webbing, even though, like I said, I'm just not that hot on the design. So I think it looks nice and it solves the ventilation issue. So what do you think? Cane webbing, yes or no? That's gonna wrap it up for today. But we got something really fun planned for tomorrow. Ever since we put the ceiling planks, the wall planks, and the floor planks in, this place has started to feel like home and we've been wanting to stay here. And finally, we have enough made that we can. Of course, we brought our cats into the bus with us too. But we'll share that with you next time. Wow, and just like that, our bedding foundation for the bedroom is complete. Bedding foundation? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don's being a little bit mm, about it, so <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the other side, I cut the saw holes from the front and the jigsaw from the front. Oh, so what so you have to do is messy. cut to get a clean cut, you gotta cut the saw holes from the front and the jigsaw from the back. Hole soles? The so. so what you have to do is cut the hole saws from <sighs> Rehabitate weather update. All of a sudden it's 100% humidity. <laughs> And boy, am I stinky today. Yeah, it's hot. How's the weather in your part of no, the world? No, we can't do that every week. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny to hear where everyone was and how the weather was. That just cracked me up last week. Yeah, but it's only funny when you do it one time. Okay. You can't keep doing it every time. You lose the humor. All right. Well, Everybody's going to be like, oh, well, Don's asking about the weather. Yeah, okay. maybe this will maybe it'll make a blooper reel. I don't know. <laughs> See if it makes the cut.